Good morning. So it is Monday, October 12th. Um, it's about 9.15. I'm getting a late start um, because I came on my period in the gym. So when I came home, I had to like jump in the shower immediately and, you know, take care of a bunch of mess, if you know what I mean. Anyway, I am in a good mood despite all of that because the Lakers won the um, championship last night and the Lakers is my team. Um, have been my team for a long, long time now. Um, Kobe Bryant was my favorite NBA player. And so I'm just so happy after 10 years uh, to have another championship in the franchise. Thank you so much, LeBron James. Thank you so much, Anthony Davis. I am so happy. So right now, I am preparing for a staff meeting at um, 9.30. Uh, also, I have to get out our bi-weekly newsletter. So I'm in charge of the bi-weekly newsletter for my department. Newsletter goes out to all research admin personnel at the university. I typically send that out at noon every other Monday. So I have to get that um, updated so I can get that sent out. I also run um, a monthly meeting for our department and we invite all um, departments at the university um, that also work with research administration. So I have to start creating the deck for that presentation, which is on next Monday. And then I have like some little odds and ends to get done. I actually have a new director that started Friday um and so this is our first staff meeting with her i'm excited to work with her i actually got to interview her and i liked her immediately so i'm excited to to work closely with her anyway i'm doing work stuff nothing too exciting so i'll talk to you all later go lakers <laughs> update of course i'll go guys okay. i'll go first yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um so today i am working on getting the newsletter out at noon um so that's priority today also, I'm going to start the deck for Hot Topics next Monday. I have um, some slides from Susan. She's going to present um, for a few minutes um, during Hot Topic. And then I have to reach out to um, Stefan to get the slides for export control. So I'm going to start putting that together as well. And then I still have that list of things that I need to put together um, to get to you that we talked about Friday. So mm -hmm. I'm going to work on yeah. that as well. So that's going to be today, today and tomorrow probably. Okay, great. <laughs> Not even 5.30 in the morning, and this is the boy I have to deal with. Let me tell you something. I don't know what it is about Chicago, and maybe it's because my building is so old. <sighs> Y'all think I'm going to get it? Y'all think I'm going to get it? Y'all think I'm going to get it? Oh, gosh. They be so fast. Okay, I can't reach it. I got to put y'all down. Hold on. So I definitely got it now, but now I have like a little shit stain on my wall and look where it is. It's on my bed. Oh my God. <laughs> Y'all tell Tiffany to stop playing in my face. I can't do this. So it's. 3.53 p.m. I am sitting at my kitchen table, aka my desk, <laughs> and just working on organizing some documents and stuff for work, watching the second Sex in the City movie. I'm in a hoodie um, with no pants on. Um, I actually shot a reel earlier and I used this hoodie in the reel and posted it on my Instagram. And so prior to this, I had on my robe all day, whatever. Anyway, so I think I'm gonna wrap work up because I'm tired and probably start dinner early. I need to clean up because I destroyed my living slash sleeping area, making this real and I need to um, put everything back in its place because I cannot sleep with chaos. So I'm probably gonna wrap work up here in a minute and then straighten everything back up, make dinner and probably just lay around for the rest of the day. I told y'all I don't do anything during the week. That's exciting. Like I do the same thing every day. I get up, I go to the gym, I come home, I work, and I do it all over again, Monday through Friday. And maybe on the weekends I have, you know, some other stuff planned. So 
All right, that's enough talking. Just checking. All in. right, so I guess I'll clean up <laughs> my mess I made. Um, really quickly, the outfit I wore in today's reel is this essential city that I have on in that previous clip. Um, and then I wore this leaf trench. It's like a patent trench um, that I got from Nordstrom on top of it. And then um, I wore these vegan leather leggings. They are from Aritzia. They are the Wilford Free version of the leather leggings. So I wore those. I love those. I bought these last year and wore them so much. They are just like good quality. Um, and then these are all of my black boots. Really quickly, I'll go through the boots that I have here. So these are some patent like boots that I got from Zara last year. I've only worn them once because they are so painful, but they look cute, so I just keep them. But yeah, we're we're not wearing those. We don't do we don't do painful. These are also Zara. Most of these boots are Zara actually. These are also Zara. Now these I wore to death last year. Um and I'll probably wear them again because they are so comfortable. I could walk in this chunky heel all day. These are some really old cowboy style boots that I got from Dolce Vita um years ago. These are years old and they are so raggedy on the inside, but I'm never getting rid of them. They have to fall apart in order for me to like stop wearing them because again, so comfortable. I can wear them for hours and not have an issue. Another chunky boot. I told y'all about my bunions in my last video. So most of my boots are going to have a chunky heel. So this is a boot from Vince Camuto. All of my boots have like this weird white film on them because salt and snow chicago zara i love this boot it's like a sock boot it fits really snug to my ankle so i really love wearing these with like skirts and dresses and skinny jeans and things like that this is a old pair of nine west boots like they are so raggedy look at the toe of that but i have like been carrying them with me for years because that platform makes these boots the most comfortable boot i have ever had in my life especially for a boot with a stiletto heel so i just I refuse to get rid of them. I used to be such a nine west junkie. It's not even funny. And then in the real, I also had these tall Zara boots from last season, the Ash Madness boots, of course, and my new Converse and a Cold Wall uh, collaboration. And then also just these um, super chunky boots that I got from Zara last season as well. I wore the dust off of these too, as you can see, more salt, more snow. So those were all of the boots in today's reel. Go check it out on my Instagram. Yeah. My plant, her name is Rosalie Louise. She's named after my mom. I don't understand. I don't know what's going on. Like it flourished all summer. Like I had no issues with it. I haven't done anything differently. And now it's just dying. Like I'm pulling burnt dead pieces off every week. I feel like, like, I don't, I don't know. I hope it doesn't completely die on me. I would be extremely sad because this has been like my quarantine hobby. So I also got a couple of the pieces that I ordered from the uh, latest fall winter essential drop. I wanted um, some jeans that was in that drop and some leggings, but apparently they didn't um, come out with the first drop. So I didn't grab them. They actually mailed the sweatpants separately. And um, I'm also waiting on another package from a brand called Rude. I'm not sure if y'all are familiar with that brand. And I want to do like a street style haul slash lookbook, but I've been waiting on the package. I got a notification that it was on its way and it's sort of just like stopped. It's been in the same place since the 9th and it's the 15th. So I don't know, I don't know. Hopefully I'll get to have it up by next week, but we'll see. So I'll show you really quickly. I just got um, two of the long sleeve t-shirts. I typically get the essentials clothing in um, a medium, but I got small because I think I read that the t-shirts run big. So um, I got the t-shirt in white. And then I also got it in this darker cream color. I just opted to not get black um, because I already have a black hoodie and a black crew neck. And so I just decided not to get a black t-shirt too. Plus I'm super partial to white t-shirts. So I just prefer these colors more in t-shirts. So yeah, that's a little mini haul right now. I should get the sweatpants tomorrow. Um, and then hopefully my other package comes and I can film the um, haul and lookbook that I have planned for next week. Otherwise, I'll have to do some um, backup stuff that I have planned, but I really want to do the like street style lookbook. So fingers crossed that gets here before next Sunday. So first time checking in today, it is Friday, October the 16th. 
Um, I just sent my last work email. I jumped up and threw on this Essentials uh, hoodie and sweats. Sort of like my new Nike. I mean, I still like to buy Nike, but I've kind of been stocking up on this stuff when they do drops. Um, just to, you know, wear some black owned stuff as opposed to so much Nike. So anyway, threw this sweatsuit on. I'm going to run to a couple stores with my girlfriend. My friend. I say girlfriend. That is so old. Um, but yeah, so it's just a black sweatsuit. Then I just threw on this pair of Air Max, which is probably the most colorful pair of shoes I have. I don't typically wear a lot of color, but I thought they were cute. So I bought them and they're super comfortable. So I love to wear them when I'm doing a lot of walking. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go, like I said, to a couple stores. I think we're gonna hit up Nordstrom, which I'm excited about because Nordstrom is my favorite. All right, I'll meet y'all in the store. If it's not weird, like if people are looking at me recording, I'm not doing it. Also, it's pretty chilly in Chicago. I think we're in like the mid 40s. So I just threw this trench on top of the sweatsuit. It looks cute. Plus it adds another layer of warmth. So, okay, I think we're good. I'm gonna throw a little crossbody on and get ready to head out the door. So we're in here shopping for Tiffany's birthday. I told myself that I cannot buy anything unless it's one of three things that are on my list. One of them being like a long black wool coat um, or a leather jacket because like I did a DIY project where I dyed a leather jacket and it, it, it just didn't end up being what I wanted. So I'm in the market for a nice leather jacket or some like Chelsea style boots. So if I see one of those three things, I can buy it. I need a long wool coat. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. It's a long shirt. It's cute. You know, you, you look good in the leather number. Good morning, it's the next day. So it's October 17th, it's just after 10 o'clock. Um, just getting back in from the gym, ran downstairs, put a load of laundry in, and now I'm going to eat a few boiled eggs because that's all I have in my refrigerator. We've discussed this, it's Saturday, we're out of food. Um, and that's pretty much all I have planned for today. I actually am going to film some stuff. Oh, let me show you what I got from Aritzia because I did grab a little something as you saw in the video, so I'll show you what I got. So what I got is not a part of the three things that I said I could buy, but it is a staple for my wardrobe. It's something that I'm going to get a lot of wear out of, so I went ahead and got it. Um, and it's just a bodysuit. I love bodysuits, and I need some longer sleeve ones. Um, I got a nice black one from And Other Stories not so long ago, but I've been looking for like a nude one and a white one. So I got this one in nude. It's super cute. It has like that square neckline, which is super flattering. Um, and they had it in white too, but I didn't grab it in white. I may regret that, but we'll see. It was $58, so like 63 bucks after tax, which sounds like a lot for just a plain bodysuit, but Aritzia has like super good quality bodysuits. And so, it's one of my favorite places to get basics like these from. So that's what I got. I also spent some time this morning organizing my clothing rack because I'm gonna be doing a video about my style uniform. So I just filled it with all of my uniform essentials um, to get ready to film that video. I'm also going to film a jean specific video and then I'm going to film a um, gym shoe video. So that's all there. So I'm just gonna eat and shower and prepare to start filming. The lighting isn't the best, but I'm hoping it turns out well. Good morning it is now Monday, October 19th. Um, I did not pick up the phone and vlog at all yesterday. I actually went to the grocery store at my normal time and then I came home, did a load of laundry. I managed to get um, a video edited. So I did shoot the style uniform video. I decided I was gonna make it sort of like a series. So I did just like the basics. It's not the best quality because it was like super cloudy. It's actually going to be super cloudy in Chicago most of this week. So it turned out okay, not 
great um but i have to remind myself that i am using my phone exclusively so i have to give myself some grace so instead of like forcing myself to do it all over again i made the best of it edited it and got it scheduled to come out on next week because i still have not received my package from rude um i still have not received an estimated delivery date from rude i still have not received a um response to my email to rude so my street style style video is still on hold until i get my stuff so anyway i got the um style uniform video edited and uh, scheduled to upload and then i just lay down and did not get back up and when i say didn't get back up i mean at all to eat to use the restroom and then back to sleep and so i got up this morning and kind of started my routine i guess i was tired i feel more refreshed today i have a few things i have to do for work today is the monthly meeting that i host that i told y'all about in the last um vlog so i am going to prepare for that it is at 10 o'clock but i have a, a staff meeting at 9 30 and then i have a light day after that so just wanted to come on close out the vlog remember if you like my vibe you want to make sure that you like subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram at b the letter b angela underscore b e and i will see you all on next week. Good morning everyone and welcome to october's research admin hot topics um, just a quick reminder, as always, please make sure that you all remain on mute. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to type them into the questions button in chat. and we